Welcome to week six, week seven of the vlog, whatever week it is. Welcome back. So this week we've got a lot of things going on between work, training, things that are happening here and then for Quinn Strength and all that. So there's a lot of things going on this week. I don't know why I'm fucking crouching now. A lot of things going on. I don't know what level to be at here, I can see. That's better. A lot of things going on this week. Both of us just upper body workout and chat more then. So, this week, which is probably the biggest thing, we're doing some retesting um, strength, speed, power wise. So, six weeks ago, as a team, we went and done testing. And now this Sunday, we've got them tests coming up again. Um, so, it's going to be interesting to see how personally I get on. How did the program work for me? Did it work um, in terms of increasing speed, increasing power? Um, and then, how did it work for the team? I've been doing the string addition for the team. So I really want to see everyone's numbers going up. So that's going to be interesting. That's the first big thing this week. That's on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. I'll probably show that in a separate vlog. But that's kind of the, the outlook. Now as well, I've got a lot going on with work. This thing, a few new things have popped into the equation. And um, things are busy at the moment, which is good. Um, I'm busy with work between this and the master. So. Also then got some things going on in the gym, so kind of this week just finalising and getting the final kind of payments in line for some investments into the gym. Um, some new things come, which I think is going to be pretty cool. I'm excited to show you that whenever it all happens. And then Quinn Strength and the merch. Getting very close. I'm in the process of getting samples now. Which I'm fucking very excited for. The designs look fucking class. So again, I'm excited to show you that there. I started into some Jiu Jitsu, so kind of added on to the striking training that we were doing. We're going to do a bit of that today. I started doing a wee bit of Jiu Jitsu last week. I've done it before, but I got back into it last week and it's fucking brilliant. I thought today, and this week's vlog would be a good. Last week we kind of went over like a GEA diet for a match. So I'm thinking we go over maybe like a grocery haul. I'll kind of plan out what I'm going to be eating this week and like um, with the training, how you can structure your eating. And, when you need to eat, blah blah blah. So this one should be in form shop and we'll get some food and we'll plan out the week. So I think this one should be should be informative for you. So you seem to like the last one. So yeah. Feeling strong this morning. Fucking it's not even 6 a.m. yet. Yeah. Boom. Uh, and how you make sure that you're covering all your bases and feeling yourself well enough for training, for games, and to look whatever way you want to look. I hope you can see me. I don't know if I'm in the shot here. Anyway, um, so all of our meals are broken up into these three categories, the three sort of different food groups you got. We also try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. Proteins, your carbs, and your fats. And every meal that you have should have some portion of one of these three in it. Um, and I think that's a good way to keep everything balanced. You know, don't just have a meal of just protein. Don't just have a meal of just carbs in general, of course. Obviously, there'll be times when you just maybe have a protein check. Anyway, I'm off track. Everything should have a balance of this here. So, um, whenever you're planning your week and you're planning your meals, you need a good variety and a good mix of these things. So, whenever I'm looking at uh, proteins... I try now and go for kind of similar ones every week and ones I know that I enjoy and ones I know that like my body agrees with and likes. Turkey burgers I think are nice, they're fucking tasty, they're lean, um, lots of protein in them. I like lean mints, um, again can be mixed up with a lot of things, nice to mix in with veg. Um, tuna I like throwing in the eggs in the morning, scrambled eggs, sounds weird, it's good, trust me. Chicken I'm not a big fan of, 
but it's there because it's always cheap and it's handy. Um, eggs, I start off nearly every day with eggs. And then skier or phase yogurt, I think it's a good one for snacks um, and one you can throw in as well. So when I'm looking at my proteins, I will probably get one of these. Um, like, and I'll have maybe between three to four meal, meals a day. Um, so I'll have something from each of these in, in every meal. Um, and it gives you a good variety and I kind of know at this point which ones I like, but yeah, you're having three or four meals a day and you want, you know, um, every one of the meals have a source of protein, so you want to change it up. And this is kind of constituting about 30% of your plate. Now, maybe if you're looking to lose a wee bit of weight or you're more focused on building the muscle, you might want to be a bit more, but in general, 30% is pretty good. Next one then is the carbs. So carbs is your big energy source. It's going to fuel your training sessions. It's going to fuel your recovery. Um, so it's important we get a good mix of these. And sometimes carbs gets a bad rap and people won't want to eat any of them, um, especially for losing weight. But that, that shouldn't really be the case. Again, it's it's just getting everything. Um, again, it's just trying to get a good mix of these in and, and eat them at the right times. So I would classify fruit and veg in at the carbs. Um, fruits can be a good one for post-workout, just getting the carbs through in your system. Veg is just good to throw in just for the micronutrients and then the vitamins. And then um, potatoes and rice there, like the kind of main carb sources whenever you're having any of your meals. We usually have like, say, mince and rice or turkey and potatoes, something like that there. Um, and then most of it will be along, the, along with it then some veg. I throw in rice cakes there because that's like my snack. Um, chocolate rice cakes, that's my Achilles heel. I go to town on them. So this is going to be 40% of your plate and now, although that sounds like a lot, you have to remember that that's going to be veg as well and I think veg should be a good portion of your plate. Um, so that's going to be your carbs. Next then is your fats. So I would classify eggs, you classify that as protein and fats, but I think it's a brilliant source of fats. Um, things like nuts, good for snacking and then the butter that you cook your food in. Um, so the fats are going to be, there's not going to be as many options, but you're going to get some through your meat as well. But um, really whenever you're planning your meals, and you're planning your shopping, you should have a good variety of these. Don't just kind of walk in and just randomly start picking things up. I think each of my meals needs to have one of these in it and make sure you have a variety so it's not boring every week. So yeah, let's go shopping. All right, so we're gonna do some shopping here. Pick up some items that we were chatting about there. Going to Lidl. If you don't shop in Lidl, you're a fool or else you're a fucking millionaire. Good quality, good prices. Check them out, all right? Shout out Lidl, well done. This isn't a paid ad, even though I wish it was. I'm not big time enough yet. Yeah, lightning in there, crazy. Um, oh, shop done, I'll take it home now. Here's what we got. 33 pound, fucking making money. Making money. Uh. All right, shopping back home. We'll get it opened up here. Got a parcel here as well, I'm pretty sure it's a book. Let's take a look. Agile periodization. Looking forward to reading this one. It's got a lot of good reviews. So here's what we got. So here's our proteins here. So we got our mince, our turkey coming in here. We got our tuna, the skier yogurt. You can also get the one that's called Fage or Fage, F-A-G-E. It's pretty good. Um, and then some eggs here. Then looking at a fruit and veg, which you're saying there is a big one. We got our tomato, spinach. I'm liking lemons, I like throwing them into water in the morning or after training. Um, I like that. Uh, apples, bananas, good for post training. Some onions, good for throwing into like meat and stuff in your cooking. Peppers, the exact same. Um, and then in there are carbs. So, as I said, rice cakes, Matt Kelly's heels. These will last 
maybe 10 minutes. I'll go to the pack very, very easily. Not a good thing, but it is true. Uh, races. Do you see sitting down, making a big cob a race? Not worth time. Time is money, remember that there. Bags of rice, hand there. Also nice flavours off them. I got this shit here um, to throw into, like say if you get like a curry paste or like a tiger curry paste. It can be good and that there alternative is quite nice. You can get a light one. I ended up getting the wrong one. I had to get a light one and I realised now, there you go. Um, but good for throwing into your meals. And then fats, we had our eggs and then some almonds. Good for snacking on and some uh, cheese which I like to throw into eggs in the morning. Um, so yeah, that's a very simple approach to it. You know, break down your meals in carbs, fats, proteins, and then when you go and shop, get a selection of each, and then it's sitting down and writing out your meals for the week as well. Um, so I think what I'll do in the next video uh, will be like how to meal plan and how to meal prep. I don't typically meal prep, but it's something we can like go over. I think it could be useful for you. So, in the next video, we will go over how do you plan your meals for the week with regards to your training and um, how to then prep those meals if you had to make some lunches. So, that's a grocery haul. That's what you need. They look fucking big and strong. Hasn't happened for me yet, but we're working on it. Also, I'm not a genius. I don't know everything. This is just my opinions, my ideas. Somebody gets annoyed because I bought meat near a vegan or something. I'm sorry. It is what it is. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.